everyone real quick want to thank sponsor today's video being Vanchero Collective. So Vanchero is a premium lifestyle brand in San Diego carrying sunglasses, watches, jewelry, and much more. And if you don't know them yet, there's not a better time because we're gonna get you 20% off the entire site in your first order today by using the code Hansen. So all their goods are ethically made with rigorous quality control. So you can wear their products with peace of mind knowing that it's sustainably made from some of the best materials available, and their products are even climate neutral certified. So Venturo Collective is creating exceptionally crafted and ethically made modern pieces to elevate your look and stand the test of time. They design everything in-house, source their own materials, and produce in small batches before shipping right to you. Venturo watches, sunglasses, and jewelry also make the perfect wardrobe upgrade that we all need for this summer. So what I like so much about Venturo, the style is incredibly modern, it's incredibly versatile, it's eye-catching, it is a super premium, well-built product, and they have an amazing five-year guarantee yes a five-year guarantee and a 365 day return policy so let's just say they got you covered but you don't just have to take my word for it they've over 30,000 five-star reviews and they've been featured in Forbes Business Insider GQ just to name a few so for premium eyewear timepieces much more and a shopping experience you can trust get 20% off your first order using the code Hansen at V I N C E R O collect dot com forward slash Hansen for 20% off your entire purchase and free shipping. So thanks for supporting them and say support me and that. Let's get to the rest of the video. Hey everyone, Joel Anthony here with my good friend, Mr. George LoBianco. Hey guys. And today we are in downtown Cleveland. That's right, Cleveland, Ohio, here to go do the Haga Sutra Challenge at the Wild Eagle Saloon. So I actually did this challenge way back. However, this is a new one. So we're going to do their new Haga Sutra Challenge. So basically what this is, it is a, I believe a four patty burger it has two pounds of bacon on it, which is insane. Yes, two full pounds of bacon. This is their house-made bacon. Uh, they put some kind of a glaze on it. It's like a signature special bacon. Um, then you also have mac and cheese patties on the burger. You have three or four of them. Uh, in addition, you have a big load of cheese fries. Yes, that's right, a big serving of cheese fries. So basically, a massive burger, a lot of cheese fries, all that good stuff. You do have 30 minutes to complete the challenge. If not, you pay 30 bucks. And uh, if you beat it, you also get the t-shirt, you get a free t-shirt in addition to the meal for free. So with that, everybody, I'm gonna get driving and uh, ultimately let's go eat some food, see what happens. All right, so we're gonna get started here. So we got 30 minutes, correct? Yeah. All right, here, I'll, I'll have a timer too, just so we have a little bit of All right, George, you ready? All right, how about we get started? Count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Come on, George. Woo. Very much tastes like a maple bacon. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video where today we're here at Wild Eagle Saloon in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. Um, so I had actually uh, done this Haga Sutra challenge back in December of 2019 but they changed it up and they made it a bit of a new challenge so I wanted to kind of come on by and give it a swing. So this new challenge, this new Haga Sutra, um, it had mac and cheese patties, it had still like two to three pounds of uh, bacon but now this was a, a glazed bacon like a gla almost like a bacon in like a ham glaze which was added, added a really nice kind of sweetness to it it was very very interesting I never had bacon like that before and then we had a, a large serving of mac and or, uh, cheese fries and then on the burger you had three or four actual burger patties themselves and um, I think that was pretty much it to be honest meat bacon mac and cheese patties yeah more or less that's pretty much what was on the burger um, maybe uh, maybe a couple onion rings as well um, whereas the old challenge uh, still had the same time restraints 30 minutes you know free meal etc but the old burger had coleslaw on it um, it had onion rings it had a different like aioli or sauce the it had um, pork belly which was non glazed instead of this glazed bacon and the french fries were not cheese fries so quite a bit had changed although like i said they kind of kept the same uh, constraints of the challenge and i think as far as like uh, difficulty it was actually this one was actually arguably easier <laughs> Um, just because that pork belly before was so difficult to consume it was very 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 chewy and uh, yeah it was just it was very very interesting whereas this one with the bacon was absolutely delicious I've never had a glazed bacon like I said and uh, it was definitely something that I'd recommend and that's kind of what they're known for oddly enough like they're known for well not only beers and sports bar but bacon like who'd know that 
In regards to challenge difficulty, um, this is definitely a little bit of an easier one, um, but I think that's really good because you know it allows uh, individuals who you know want to try a food challenge or, or getting into it, you know, intermediate beginner to actually attempt and have a chance of succeeding. Whereas a lot of these new challenges people create, they're just so big, they're they're absolutely honestly impossible to the average um, the average individual. There's a lot of bacon. There's a lot of bacon. What do you guys put on it? That's a secret. It's like a, ma like a ham glaze or something. Very know. maple glaze. Very good. She doesn't know it. Of course she doesn't. My secret. I keep baking though. I eat all the time. <laughs> If you do beat this challenge, you do get the free meal, um, and then prior, before we got like what they called free swag, I think got like a mug, I got a t-shirt, um, so yeah, I'll ultimately have to see if, if we win, if we can get any of that, um, but that's pretty much it. Um, you know, should be pretty straightforward at that. Uh, you do not need to call an advance, or sorry, you do need to call, it's suggested, there you go, that's the way to put it. It is suggested that you call in advance if you want to try the challenge. Um, just as like, I know there is like a couple of periods in time where they will not do it. For example, um, if there, it's like a really, really, really busy like sports game or whatever, like uh, there was a baseball game going on here. And so, you know, like let's say the baseball game started at six or seven or whatever, and they were like, you're fine as long as you come in before that or before it ended or whatever so you just kind of you do have to coordinate a little bit with them but i think under a lot of circumstances you do not have to call in advance and you could probably just give a call ahead um, the other thing i'll mention too is um, when it came to the actual um, again oh, as you can see literal 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 pounds of bacon and i'm talking like when i say there's two pounds of bacon or whatever two to three pounds whatever it was um, it, that's like cooked weight so you have to imagine like two pounds of cooked weight bacon is probably like maybe four to five pounds of uncooked bacon because bacon loses a lot of weight when it's cooked so again just to literally give the example of how much bacon was on this i mean you can only imagine the calories and the, the grease the amount of grease from it but like i said the little bit of sweetness from that ham glaze they put on it um, actually made the bacon definitely not taste greasy and it was a really really good texture but yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, uh, in regards to the cheese fries, they definitely, it was very, like, interesting sauce. I didn't even know what it was on there at first. Like I said, it is a cheese sauce. But uh, as you saw at the beginning of the video with the imagery, it was very, very thin. It was a very unique kind of cheese sauce. Uh, but that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Hopefully you uh, enjoy. should be pretty straightforward from here. And uh, ultimately, let's tune on in and see what, well, let's we'll see what happens. Just over five minutes in. I have the uh, mac and cheese patties on the burger and then all the fries left. The bacon is very good.
about 10.45, set the mac and cheese patties left. We're done. Somewhere just after 13 minutes, so finish that up. Very delicious. The bacon is very, very good. You know, George is just finishing up here. He's also doing really well. So we'll tune on in as George completes the challenge. We're still in Cleveland and we're in an area called like the Steel Yards or something. And look at this Walmart. They have this Walmart like dressed up with brick and brown and these little like steel coverings um, to kind of suit, I guess, the Steel Yards, you know, name or tradition. And in fact, all the buildings around here, all like the stores, are all brick, which is kind of interesting. So pretty cool. <laughs> 